What's your impression of Gio when she misses me? <laughs> Simple. I miss my pa bell. It's so cold here in the house. I miss him so much. You know what I do when he's not around? I hold his big pillow because I miss him. <laughs> oh my god, he's in the water. <laughs> about Grilla Mall. Oh, mother! I love Grilla Mall. I said in the previous episode that I love sandwiches and kind of what I meant by that is I like anything with a piece of bread and fucking meat inside of it. But, not a dick. But, <laughs> pause. You notice the sign of a great burger place. They never mess up the patty. Always medium rare. Without fail. I've probably been here over like 20 times and they've always cooked it to perfection. Grilla Mall to me uh, has one of the best burgers in LA. Hands down. I don't give a fuck what you say. I know you guys have been to the, you know, you've been to like Bocce Burger, you've been to the Father's Office and shit like that. I'm not saying those burgers are bad, but they do not compete with Grilla Mall's Pig Champion, which is my favorite burger from them. Yeah, they're all I order the Pig Champion there every time without fail. I've had a lot of their other burgers, like the Paul Bailoff and etc. And those are really good too, but the Pig Champion is just perfect. So it, it, they have like this crispy, buttery, soft, like brioche bun. Their patty, by the way, is the perfect ratio to bread ratio. And it's cooked always to medium rare, like I love it. Has a champagne hollandaise sauce, a fried egg, and some Canadian bacon, and some crispy arugula. So it just has everything that you love about it. Has complex flavors, but it's not overly complex where it kind of fucks up your palate. That crisp, spicy arugula kind of breaks down the, the fatty champagne hollandaise and that fried egg inside, and I just, it's the perfect bite to me. You got the behemoth? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the behemoth is something I call the mistake because I made a mistake of ordering that burger before and it's just this massive burger that's sandwiched in between these grilled cheese sandwiches. So you get two grilled cheese sandwiches mixed with all this meat and fat. Mind you, it tastes delicious, but dude, if you could finish that, you're an absolute monster. Wow. Oh, holy shit. God damn. Holy guacamole. Oh, it's like watching a dinosaur eat another dinosaur. <laughs> Furious Pete actually tackled that behemoth like it's nothing. And this is the first time I actually got to see a competitive eater eat live in front of me. And it's like watching a wolf devour a carcass. Like it's insane. That's <laughs> <laughs> fucking ridiculous, eh? Mark, Mark, go. Mark, go. Okay, do it. <laughs> go. <laughs> 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 you know what the crazy thing was? I guess uh, Gorilla Mall saw uh, what, what Pete was doing because obviously we were crowded around him and we were recording what he was doing, but he just, they made him a second behemoth, but this time it was even more massive with an extra patty, more bacon, more cheese, and I think it even had an extra uh, grilled cheese sandwich inside, and they wanted to see if he could do it. And I'm telling you right now, he butt fucked the shit out of that sandwich. Oh, yeah! Jesus. Oh my goodness. Three, two, one, go. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I thought I could eat, and you know what the sad thing is? Is like I look at this man, he's eating this stuff, but he doesn't look like me. Like where's his breast? Where's his rolls? Oh God, I work out too, I don't look like him. That was beautiful. He should look like this. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm slightly turned on. <laughs> Why are you sweating? Because I'm watching and it's so intense. That was crazy. What am I doing with my life? Just getting news is, is, is the shit, dude. Uh, I decided to forego other opportunities to work on this channel with them. It is probably one of the best decisions of my life. Uh, a lot of people may think like, well, you know, you had a chance to be on TV. Well, TV doesn't matter. Like, this is something that we built together. And uh, they, they allowed me to be a part of it and I'm really grateful for it. So, you know, that's for you guys. So I hope you guys continue to watch it and 
Various Pete, if I'm ever in Canada, come hug me and teach me how to eat like that. I'm gonna have diarrhea for you. That was amazing though. It was like watching a unicorn. Wash these hands again. Now, if I jack off, it's like he jacked me. <laughs> <laughs>